Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to teach you how to get a T green light in High Teach Five. And you might ask, what is T green light? To get a T green light means you achieving a score of seventy or above in the Technology Interaction Index, which means you can use various kind of technological functions of High Teach. But if you want to get a T green light, first you must acquire the AI Socrates Summary Notice feature. If you haven't done so yet, please use this URL to acquire this feature. And after you get this feature, every time you end a high teach lesson, you can view your technology T interaction index in the notifications of the high TA5 application in your cell phone. Okay, and here is a note. If you want to get a T index in your high teach lesson, the high teach lesson must be longer than ten minutes to be calculated. You have to notice that, okay? You may wonder what's the benefit to get a T green light. Accumulating T green light can allow you to get various benefits and rewards. So today we are using this material to guide you through the simplest four major interaction and ten steps. To get a T green light, let's do it. When you get into the High Teach system, the first thing you have to do is press this Start Lesson button here. When I press Start Lesson, and I can choose a name list to start my lesson. If you have already learned how to create your own name list, you can use your own name list, or you can use our default name list here, A or B. You can choose one, okay. And now I'm going to use my Grade Two Class Six list, then list, and I press Start, and my lesson has already started. And after the teacher start lesson, the next thing you have to do is to invite your student to join your lesson. So you can click on the red box here, okay. This button here, here this button, okay. I can click this button. And I have three different ways to invite my student to join my class. First, you can ask your student use their cell phone or a tablet to scan this QR code to join. It's the first way. And the second way, you can ask your student to open a browser on their tablet or cell phone or computer and type in this URL: iris5.teamtimemodel.net, and then type in the classroom number here. One seven five six eight four and the pin code six eight four two. The six digit is classroom number. The four digits is pin code. And then your student can join your lesson. And the third way you can use this icon to copy a link and pass this link to your student, and they can click this link to join your lesson. Okay, so there are three different ways, and you can see when your student has already joined this lesson, their button will become green, and here will show they are present, and now they are already joined your lesson. Okay, so now we are going to start our four major interaction functions. The first one, IRS single answer question. Here is the question: Which one is your favorite season? So now I'm going to use my IRS tool single answer here. This button here, you can see my mouse here. Okay, click this button and choose the first one single answer. And now I can start a single answer question, and my student can answer this question when they have already sent their answer. Their square will become red, and the second step here, I'll show chart. I can see the chart here, the bar chart here. Okay, so one student choose option A and four student choose option C. And the、uh, third step here, I can use the smart pick out function here. I can pick out someone from option A or who choose option C to tell me why you love that season. For example, I choose someone from choosing. Option C here. 
okay, I pick out my student Robert, and I can ask Robert to tell me why you love this season. The second function, IIS close question. This is my question. Can you please describe your hometown in 10 words? So now I'm going to start an IRS close question here in this icon and one, two, three, four. Choose the fourth one. Okay, the close question. And now my student can type in the answers in their IRS system. And also I can start a timer here, a timer here. For example, I'll get, give them 10 seconds to answer this question. Okay, and you can see every student has already finished their answer. And the third step here, I want to use this function, flip card, flip card, okay, here. This one, this function, flip card, and I can see every student's answer here. Okay, so this is function number two, IRS close question. The next function, IRS boss in question. Okay, here in this picture, I want you to find the four-leafed clover in this picture. So now I'm going to start an IRS boss in question. Here in this IRS function, and number one, two, three, four, five, the five one, okay, here. When I start a boss in question, here you can see there is a bell on my screen, and there is also a bell on student's IRS. So when I push this bell. The first student who push their bell on their IRS, he or she can get the right to answer my question. Okay, let's try. Three, two, one. Okay, number one, Zach. So I can ask Zach to tell me where is the four-leaf clover. Okay, and the answer is here. Okay, right here. Okay, and now I can use this thump, this thump to give Zach scores. Okay, I can give him scores here. So this is the scoreboard or point function here. So this is the function number three, IRS bus in question. Function number four, the assignment task, a picture task. Okay, here I want you to finish this chicken for me. Okay, so I want to start a work collection function here, okay, in this button here, okay, in this button, and I choose the first one, the first one, the picture function, okay, so I start a picture assignment, and now my student can draw this picture, draw this chicken on their IRS, and then send it back to me. Okay, Zach has already sent, and we can wait for other students. Okay, now all of my students have already sent their works. So now I can use this function here to paste their works. Okay, here I can paste their works. And we can talk about every work, or I can give them scores here. Okay, so this is our function number four, assignment task. After completing the above steps, and then you can end your high teach lesson. Press this button, end lesson. Okay. And when you end your high teach lesson, you can check your high TA application on your cell phone. Okay, on your high TA, you can see how many T data and T green light you have already get. And also you can go to the notification page. Here, you should receive an AI Socrates summary notice here, and then you can see your T index here. Here, this is your T index, okay? 
If you follow all of the above steps, you should get a T green light here now. You can get a 70 or above score here. So this is the simplest way to get a high teach T green light. But to get a T green light is not your main goal. The main goal, the most important thing is to know how to use high teach in your real lesson. So if you want to find more learning resources here, you can find our official simple files in high teach. Okay, you can find our sample files here in this button, this file button here, and this preset resources sample file is here. Okay, when you get into the sample file, you can you can see many different PowerPoints, many different materials. You can use all of those materials to learn to use high teach. Or you can also get to our YouTube channel to watch other videos to learn how to use high teach. So this is our video today. We'll see you at the next video. Bye bye.